Okay, I wanted to do a short tutorial to show you how to write an essay for the students. An essay has to be done every single time you take a test. This needs to be done on Thursday and you have to constantly monitor and make sure that the children are copying from you. Some will take a little bit extra time. Just make sure and give them a little bit extra time if kids get done early. Have them read but make sure uh, give them time and some of them won't go anywhere just kinda kill it uh, uh, print out a couple of copies for those who are absent and for uh, students who are special needs like Angel um, you'll probably have to print one out and kinda glue it or a staple I'd say probably glue it to the page with some Elmer's glue and uh, shrink it down to around 18 or 12 for the font size and it'll fit. So I'm looking at the uh, the next story that we're doing is called the Legend of Damon and Pythias. So the 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 linking to the concept question says, how is a friendship like a treasure in the story? So the first thing we're going to start off with is a topic sentence. A topic sentence let the student know is restating the question. You always have to tell them take two fingers, take their um, index finger and the next finger and put it on the paper and that's going to give you an indent. Typing is going to be around five spaces one, two, three, four, five and they'll see you go over and they'll see you start a little bit more. And once again remind them that this is the uh, this is the this is the uh, the topic sentence, and it's going to restate the question. And once again, it's going to say, "How is true friendship like a treasure in the story?" So I'd like them to use their own words, but here we're going to kind of make this quicker. How is uh, true friendship? like a treasure in this story. After you do that, uh, after you type it in, look around, make sure that all the students have a pencil in their hand and they're copying you. It's really easy to look up. These are short, clear, concise sentences. But what we're doing is we're showing the parent that we're giving the child an example and without an example, the parent will lash back at you saying, you're not giving something to my kids. This is how we can say, hey, we showed your kid how to do it. Now your child has to show me. So once again, this is the topic sentence. Now you can do the main idea. The main idea has no facts no facts whatsoever in it and it's basically what the child is going to be writing about so I'm gonna put down here it says okay, how is how how is true friendship like a treasure in the story basically you can explain what a treasure is a treasure is something you want to keep just like their friendship no no special facts just keep things as simple as possible keep sentences as short as possible. So I'm going to kind of look back in the story so I have to remember which one is which. So I'm going to kind of look back in it quickly here. So this will take a minute. I'm going to see if I can do a quick pause here. I believe it's alternate P. Uh, okay, I just had to go back and remember which one was kind of which in the story. So 
to give you now what you're going to do is give a supporting fact and i usually require two or three supporting facts but right now we're going to start with one record one fact then in two or three more weeks you're going to require two and then a couple more weeks you're going to require three which is what the basic uh end game is going to be so uh pythias is the one who's in jail so so damon is the one that's going to take his place so it's let's see Damien, D A R Damon D A M O N. So here I'm going to put Damon is willing to risk his life and even stay in jail. So Pythias, P Y T H, so Pythias can say goodbye to his family. So basically, what you have to drive home is that a fact is pulled from the story, and you have to be very, very specific that you have to remind the kids that facts are pulled from the story. They're not just made up out of nowhere. Facts come from the story. So here, once again, how true... How is true friendship like a treasure in the story? That is your topic sentence. It's always going to be a question. Always going to be a question. Next is your main idea. A treasure is something you want to keep, and this is telling me what you're going to write about, just like their friendship. So now we're going to give a supporting fact. Why is it, why is this something they want to keep? So their friendship is so important that Damon is willing to risk his life and even stay in jail so Pythias can say goodbye to his family. We don't use a comma because there are only two things in here. If there were more things, then we would use a, a, a comma, and we'll explain this to them later on. So once again, now you have a supporting fact. Damon, this is how their friendship is, 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 is like a treasure. That Damon is willing to risk his life and even stay in jail so Pythias could say goodbye to his family. And if you want to, you can also put, because it's showing that he, that showing that they are best friends. But we don't have to be in that detail. Now, the fourth sentence is going to come in. This is very short. We're trying to keep this very short and very sweet for the first week, and I'll do this for you every week if you feel you need it. Now comes a conclusion. The conclusion ties back to the topic sentence. This is how they show... each other how their friendship is like a treasure they want to keep forever. This is very short. This is very sweet. And this is only a few words. And down here it only says, I don't know, this is 61 words. Uh, this should fit in that small area. And what you can do is once you do this, you can highlight it all. You can copy it. Go down again, hit Control-V, 
it will print it out again and if you could even fit it a third time you can just print out this page and now you can print out a short paragraph to three different students uh, the special needs students that don't get anything written down are going to have this copied for them uh, you do have to keep an eye out for students who are just doing nothing they can't just sit there and do nothing you have to get on them we're, we're so close we're so close to report card that right now we can't waste any time normally this is a story that we even have time to act out we have a story that that we can act out and we can have fun with this time but because of us not even getting to this point we have to kind of breeze by it and we will be able to uh... go over and and we can do another story like this again soon but this is a basic idea of what you're going to be doing and this has to be done every thursday without fail once again how true how is true friendship like a treasure in the story your topic sentence a treasure is something that you want to keep just like their friendship main idea this uh, this does uh, not have any facts in it and this once again is your main idea a supporting fact a supporting fact no tight tight I love you baby girl but not right now sorry my grandkitty just came up a uh, supporting fact is Damon is willing to risk his life and even stay in jail so Pythias can say goodbye to his family. This is showing how important that their friendship is. This is one example. You can use this. You can use the fact that he is willing to die for his friend. You can use uh, the fact that he's willing to stay in jail for his friend, that he goes sees the king and pleads to change places with his friends. There are so many different examples. Usually I have the kids give me examples, but I'm giving you one here. Uh, this is something you can use or you can just use something on your own, but I'm just giving you an idea how to do it. And once again, a conclusion. I, we don't say, this is my story, I hope you like it. No teacher has taught them that. Uh, the end, no, it's not going to work. This is how they show each other how their friendship is like a treasure they want to keep forever. And this sentence here is going to come right back to the topic sentence. So your conclusion ties back to your topic sentence. You have to make this point very, very clear. This is formula writing. It's boring. It's dull. But until they know how to write, formula writing has to be done. If you have any further questions, please ask me. And